Hey guys, it's Romy and today I'm gonna do my everyday summer glow makeup and it's a makeup that I do when I meet my friends for brunch or when I go out in the city and it's just a lot of bronzer because I like a glow. So I'm starting with put it, putting my hair in a ponytail because I tend to put my creams in my hair and that's not what we want today. So I'm starting with this reusable cotton pads. I just got those because I was using so many cotton pads and I felt like it was such a waste. So I'm starting with putting some tonic on there. Oops, I'm also a little clumsy. It's all over the floor. And I have to say these cotton pads, they feel like even softer than the real ones. Then the next thing I do is I put this jojoba oil and it's really hydrating and it has so many antioxidants, uh, it's anti-inflammatory. So I'm putting two to three um, oil drops on my hand and then I put it on my face. You can do more when you feel like your skin is super dry. You can also put it in your neck because it gets dry as well. And then after I put that on, I use my Reva Sculpt thingy. They also say it works for lymphatic drainage. So when you're puffy in the morning, this really helps to get the blood flow going. I've always been super interested in skincare because my mom had always so many products that it was like, what is this? And I was like always trying everything on. She was not so happy with that because it was like her expensive skincare. But I put it here because my eyes get to be really puffy. I can put it here for your forehead wrinkles. You can even put it in your neck. It's really nice when your muscles are a little tense, like right here. I like it, you can like move it like this. I just like to take that moment in the morning to like take care of myself and like do this. It's just a nice start of the day. I'll bring my coffee or my tea in the bathroom and I'll be in there for 20 minutes or so. All right, so sculpted. Then the next thing I do is I put on moisturizer. So I'm using the rich cream today because I feel like my skin is a little dry. And for me, it's all about hydrating the skin. So I always think drinking a lot of water is so important for your skin. I feel like I see a huge difference when I drink a lot of water, especially on a flight. I know it's annoying because you don't want to go to the bathroom, but trust me, it's important. And also don't forget your neck. And then the last step before I start my makeup is lip balm. Perfect. So I'm starting with some concealer. This one is from Clo de Po, and I really like it because it's super light. I'm not really precise as you can see. Then I use a little brush, I don't know why. I take it really low because um, my cheeks tend to go a little red. So you know in the weekend when you don't have a lot of plans, I just like to put a hair mask in my hair, tie it up in a bun, and like don't wear makeup all day. That's it for the concealer, I think. I love to use a tint of moisturizer because it's a little lighter than a foundation. And I feel like when I put foundation, it gets a little too cakey. I also put everything with my hands because my makeup artist told me that it's good if the heat of your fingers, that it spreads better. So that's what I do. This one is a little darker than my skin because I love a glowy summer look, as you guys probably know. So after I've put my foundation, I start with my eyebrows. So I use this Chanel eyebrow pencil to like brush them up first. Then the other side has a little pencil and I think it's the color Blonde Door. I feel like eyebrows always make a huge difference in your makeup look. I like a good eyebrow. Still has to look natural after all. Then I'm using this Benefit eyebrow gel in the color 1. It's a little darker, but I love a darker brow. I think I've learned doing my own makeup by watching what makeup artists do. Not that it's getting close to what they do, but I mean 
trying my best. I feel like an eyelash curler make such a big difference. That's sometimes the only thing I do in the morning. Like put some eyebrow gel, do my eyelash curler and lip balm and go up. But today we do a little more. Always a little tricky when you do this because you're always scared to like get some skin in between. And the makeup artist told me to never ever do this with mascara on because when the mascara gets hard, you can break your lashes. Such a difference. I'm not really good with my eyes, I have to be honest. And I think my makeup look is better with less on my eyes. So this is a color palette that I really like. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this brown. And I just go in here, keep my eyes open so you can see the contour of your eyes. Okay, so the darker is on the outside and then I take a little bit of the orangey colors that I put a little in the middle. And I always move my brush out because we want it to go from lighter to darker. And then the last set is putting this lighter color in the inside. I sometimes even put highlighter here in the inside, but my boyfriend is always like, you have some white in the inside of your eyes. I'm like, that's supposed to be like that. That's my highlighter, but thanks. When I'm in Holland, I tend to do my makeup more often because I feel like people just always go out dressed up. Like even to the supermarket here, I go always in my workout clothes, just put my hair in a bun, no makeup, and everybody walks around like that. The next thing I do is I start with contouring. I have this stick and the makeup artist always put it on and I just like draw lines, like one here, one here, and one here. Um, I've tried it a couple times, but it just doesn't work out for me. I don't know why. So I put it on a brush like this and then so since I've been shooting with Victoria's Secret I feel like I really discovered what works for me to get that summer glow just because I get the makeup so many times and you can really figure out what works because in the beginning I always thought that eyeliner was good on me and then when I looked at the pictures on the screen when I was shooting with Fias I was like, it didn't really look good on me, in my opinion, but some people like it, but I feel like on me, it's not the best thing. So it's funny to like explore and experience with your makeup to see what works best for you. I also feel like you look so much better with a little bit of a glow. Like a little bit of a bronzer makes me feel so much healthier. Then I'm using this Tom Ford palette to put some highlighter. And you can put highlighter, highlighter, highlighter on so many different places, but usually I put it here. It just depends on how glowy you like it. I never really use powder because I like it to look super creamy and that's why I use a lot of like wet products. And of course, when you have a super oily forehead or something that's like too bright, then you can always tone it down with some powder. Now we're doing some mascara and I'm always doing just mascara on the top of my lashes because I feel like it keeps my eyes more open. This one is a really thin one that I love to use over the day. I have another one that's a little thicker. That one is more for the night. This one is Collister. And the other one that I use when I go out is Marc Jacobs. And it just gives you a little bit more of like a dramatic lash. Okay, so now the mascara is on. We're doing a lip. And I love to use a lip pencil. And this one is from Marc Jacobs in the color Nude. And I love nude colors for my lips. Sometimes I overdraw them a little bit. Like everybody does, right? Then I'm putting on this lip glow from Dior. Also a little bit of my neck because you don't want a pale neck and a tan face. Now my makeup is done, I put my hair down. And sometimes I even put it in two buns when I do my makeup to get a little bit more volume. And then I finish off my look with a little bit of a hydrating floral essence. It's from Tata Harper. And I just love a mist. Also the rose water mists are really nice and it's really... 
I could do it in the middle of the day, after my makeup, in the morning. It just makes you feel more awake. And it's also really nice to bring a small one on the plane. Because when you land, you just feel a little bit more fresh when you spray this on. And you get ready for your day. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Mwah!